This week on Technique Tuesdays, can Taven and Bennett overcome one of the biggest tag teams in wrestling? Also, student versus teacher. Can ROH Dojo graduate Joe Keyes overcome his trainer and pure champion, Jonathan Gresham? First up, let's take a look at the pure champion, Jonathan Gresham defending his title against one of his own students, one of the graduates from the prestigious Ring of Honor dojo, Joe Keys. And the code of honor adhered to, Gresham with the experience has, but Joe Keys, no slouch. Like you said, Caprice, this is a man who's an accomplished wrestler on the independent scene in that 2019 Top Prospect Tournament. Now, I usually talk about just the techniques and the matches, but every so often you see something from one of our pre-match interviews that's so profound that has to be discussed. And this week, that's Joe Key's interview. He convinced me, the fans, his peers, he let everyone know that Joe Keyes is here to stay, he's passionate about wrestling and he believes in everything that he is doing in that squared circle. If you haven't seen that interview, you are missing out. But that made me want to see this confrontation. Coming here, stripped down to his Joe, basics. Joe Keyes is one that's, he's been around for a while and he's one guy that he's done everything he's been asked to do. Joe Keyes is aggressive right at the start in this match. He is relentlessly chasing the headlock. Usually, he's just pulling the head over, but in the last one, he actually uses his hip to further elevate Jonathan Gresham in the air, inspired a little bit by that throw we've talked about before, Ogoshi from Judo. It had that kind of hips through motion that is essential for that, but that extra momentum allowed Jonathan Gresham to hook in the head scissors fully and you'll notice the difference this time is that his ankles are crossed over which is closing the hold. We've heard about in mixed martial arts how you close the guard. Well, Jonathan Gresham is closing the head scissors by the crossing of the ankles. That's why Joe Keys is unable to nip out of it this time. Good aggressive start from Joe Keys, but Jonathan Gresham showing why he's the champ. Coach Jonathan Gresham didn't teach him a fifth way how to get out. Uh, that is rope break number one used by Joe Keys. As he stated in his interview though, Jonathan Gresham isn't the only trainer that Joe Keys has had. He has picked up a lot of tricks that trade from being on the independent circuit. One of those tricks is very useful indeed. Joe isolates the arm, turns it into a hammer lock, but before he can fully lock it in, goes back to the headlock. Now that might seem like a strange decision, knowing that Gresham is going to counter it, but Joe Keys this time does not sink into the headlock with all of his body weight. What he does is he stays in that parterre position because he knows Jonathan Gresham is waiting like a Venus flytrap or an octopus if you will, with the head scissor reversal. But because he stays upright, that means that Jonathan's wrist is now vulnerable. And he switches that tactic of going for the headlock constantly, switches it to the wrist lock. Very impressive from Joe Keys. And now he's got control of the wrist and goes to the double wrist lock. Gresham to the mat, maybe just a little bit stronger. Jonathan Gresham is the master of adapting to any opponent in any situation, however. If we advance forward a little bit, we look at this trade of strikes back and forth between Joe Keys and Jonathan Gresham. It's forearm, 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 forearm. Well, at this point, it becomes a point of pride. It's who can deliver the strike harder? Who can take the pain? Well, in this situation, Gresham is one one step ahead in this game of chess. Here, box the clothesline though, Gresham sweeping nice. the leg. Sweeps the arm. Full head of steam, Ricky Steamboat style arm drag. Jonathan Gresham, he goes low with a sweeping back kick, dropping Joe Keys to his feet. And then we see him hit his trademark kick to the arm that is absolutely painful and you can just see the recoil. The icing on the cake is a huge deep arm drag. He rushes in, snaps that arm drag and now Joe Keys, both of his arms are in jeopardy. How much of your offense is in trouble when both of your arms are in pain? Wonderful strategy from Jonathan Gresham. This might be my favorite move of the match. Gresham charges him with a huge chop. Joe Keys drops low, reverses the Irish whip into the corner. And as Gresham comes back, Keys catches him for what we would call a small package roll up. Gets the momentum. It's a nice. great a small package. No, back to his feet. Look at the power of Keys. Beautiful 
but instead of sticking with the pin, he actually uses the momentum to roll all the way through and carries through with a deadlift, a very impressive deadlift to turn it into a suplex and drop Gresham to the mat. Wonderful control and impact from Joe Keys. Joe Keys goes for the diving headbutt from the top rope, but Jonathan Gresham isn't home. Gresham hits him with a pin of his own, kick out, and then they enter into a sequence where one of them is looking for the hip toss. Now this is where it's interesting. Gresham attacks the core of Joe Keys, uses that to put his leg on the top and backflip over. So he's now in the dominant hip toss position, throws him over, lands him perfectly, but he also still claims the arm. So when he rolls through, he is immediately into a tight hammerlock, at which point you can just see this. That's it, that's Fred it. Just the that's hammerlock it. and yeah. it's over. He has got no choice but to tap in this situation. However, I would argue, despite the win for Jonathan Gresham, it's a star-making performance for Joe Keyes, and he is only going up here in Ring of Honor. An amazing start right here in the Pure Division, but congrats as always to the champ. All right, let's take a look at OGK, the original kingdom versus the Bouncers. I noticed an accent, I don't know if you picked up on it. Brawler Malonis, trained by Killer Kowalski in New England. Wow. Oh, right on that ankle, yeah, that's an early yeah. test. And the first thing I want to talk about is tag team synergy. After some impressive displays of size and strength from Brian Malonis, you see the bit where he just throws him off that headlock. Shortly after, Mike Bennett is able to use his speed to claim the headlock on Brian Malonis. Now this is where the tag team synergy comes in. Lock here from Bennett. Barely, barely tall enough to grab the headlock. Tag. tag made by yeah. Taven. Ducks the right. Double nice. drop kick catches Malonis. Now this is where I'm equally impressed by Beer City Bruiser because sometimes it's the little things that make the biggest difference. Taven and Bennett are in total control. We've got Bennett is holding down the ropes and Taven is going to dive over them. And Beer City Bruiser simply walks in the way. That's all it took to break down the plan that OGK had for Brian Malonis. Very impressive from Bruiser. And immediately after, Bruiser gives Brian Malonis a pep talk saying, look, they're not our friends. We can be friends after the match, but right now, winning is the only thing that matters. And it seems to have an effect. Because immediately after, Brian Malonis pushes Taven to the corner and is just swarming him. Which is exactly what we want to see from Brian Malonis, using his size against his opponent. What we also see is that same tag team synergy from the bouncers because we saw the double drop kick after the tag from OGK and this time what we see from the bouncers is a sidewalk slam and just a straight up kick to the side of the head. And Malonis, yeah, sends Taven down. That is probably between the three of them. That could be seven, eight hundred pounds landing on the canvas right now. Huge maneuver and brilliant strategy from the bouncers. And he is hobbling Caprice Heights. Yeah, you know I respect the decision of our of our trainers, of the group here at Ring of Honor to clear him. Oh. This is where the brilliance and thinking on the spot is so important for Bennett and Taven. I believe it happened at the beginning of the match when he was forced to land on it. Whoa! I see that. like a schoolboy. Taven goes for a huge drop kick, and what Bennett does is he goes and he literally goes into the parterre position behind Brian Malonis, so he will fall over as a result of the drop kick. Very smart thinking on the spot from OGK. Jumps right back up. Mike Bennett jumps into the air to deliver a huge super kick to Brian Malonis, but their strategy works almost too well. Oh, oh no! He, he, he just killed Taven. Super kick to and he almost gets the three count right there. The way he lands, the referee has no choice but to make the count. Close call for Taven and Bennett. One thing I do want to talk about is the fluidity of movement that Matt Taven brings to the table. His big strength, and in my opinion, one of the reasons why he is a former world champion here in Ring of Honor is his ability to string different moves and sequences together, adapting on the fly. Watch this. Aurora Borealis! That could do it, Rick Abani, right there. One! Two. Malonis is there to break up the pin. However, Taven is not discouraged by this. He gets up to meet the bigger, larger opponent in Brian Malonis. He breaks free and he starts to hit a combination followed by a sharp DDT taking out the bigger man. But here comes Beer City Bruiser back in the fold. Taven! Russian leg sweep there. Taven rolls through. 
But before it's all said and done, the bouncers retaliate with two huge moves of their own. After a huge Samoan drop from Beer City Bruiser, we also see Brian Malone set up for a massive side sit out choke slam that Ian Riccoboni refers to as the brawler slam. Yep. Taven in a bad way here. Catches the arm, sends it down! Brawler slam! In the conclusion of this match, we see Brian Malonis successfully hit a superplex on Matt Brian Taven. Brian Malonis has Taven looking for the superplex. Gets the superplex, and it's Beer City Bruiser. Up top, Rock oh, Splash, man. nobody home though. Taven able to roll out of the way, and bet it with a spear! Taven uses every last bit of strength that he has to run in, and it looks like he might be setting up for a crucifix pin, but he goes all the way around and lands into a beautiful submission. Taven looking for it! Looking for it! He got it, a trendsetter, and it's over! This submission, which I believe is known as the trendsetter, is especially effective, because what I want you to look at is the weight that is being put, the pressure that is being applied to the left side of Beer City Bruiser's neck. We have an artery right here that allows the blood to get to the brain and to keep the blood oxygenated and to keep someone conscious. But if you apply your entire body weight in the reverse direction, that means that you are going to pass out or you're going to receive damage on the side of your neck. Beer City Bruiser is smarter than that and he knows he needs to live to fight another day. Huge victory for Taven and Bennett, but an outstanding performance nonetheless for the bouncers awesome action this week on Ring of Honor television, unparalleled in-ring action. We're delivering the best professional wrestling in the world today. I've been Joe Hendry. Thank you for watching this. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're watching it on Twitter, make sure you retweet and also join the Facebook group, hashtag choose your honor because your choices do matter. Your votes are getting Shane Taylor into the title picture. Well, he's getting himself into the title picture, but you are helping him along the way. Your choices matter. So get in on the action. Thank you for watching Technique Tuesday and we'll see you again next time. Twenty twenty one is a new year, a fresh start, and Ring of Honor wants to know about your dream matches. Yeah, who do you see challenging for the pure title? What views do you think should continue? Be the matchmaker, use the hashtag choose your honor, and let us hear about your dream matches.